some way out of this. Any suggestions? Well, look at the bright side. At least you have a choice. True. A choice? You mean choice one, I upset my mother so badly she'll never speak to me again. Or choice two, I upset a guy I really like, and not just any guy, but someone who happens to be an actual prince. That's not a choice, that's a train wreck. Okay, I know Lily can be a drama queen, but this time she really does have a dilemma. And to be honest, I don't think any of us can help her. It all started a few weeks ago when we dropped into her mother's boutique. Haven't seen much of you lately, darling. What have you been up to? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, things. Oh, yes, things. They do get in the way, don't they? Mm -hmm. <sighs> we used to spend such a lot of time together. Not again, please. We went to movies, went shopping, went on walks, and now we do hardly anything. Why is that? You know how it is. School, homework, the castle. It's not like I don't want to spend time with you. I know exactly what Lily means. Much as you love your parents, you get to a stage where you really need some personal space. And let's face it, parents can be pretty embarrassing. Take my mum, for instance. Sometimes I really think she hasn't registered yet that I'm actually several years past my 10th birthday. Hello, sweetheart. Mum, what are you doing here? Sorry, darling, but you forgot a few things. Here's your lunch. Mom. I know how hungry you get. Mum, please. Here's a hat and sunscreen, and here's a jumper, just in case it gets cold later. Okay, thanks, Mum. You can oh, go thanks. now. There's a spare pair of underwear, just in case, you know, accidents. Mum! At times like this, Mum can be seriously cringe-making. If only she could be like other girls' parents, like Tina, for instance. Anyway, I must tell you that I've had a brilliant idea. You have? Yes. I thought you and I, we could go on a mother-daughter weekend. Not another one of those hideous workshops where you sit around in groups pretending to be open and honest with each other. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. We catch a train to Berlin, see a show, go shopping, have some fun. What do you think? Actually, that sounds, yeah, nice. <laughs> Not just nice, awesome. Oh, you're welcome to come to Sam. That goes without saying. <laughs> no, no. Thanks, but this is your weekend. No gate crashing from me. <laughs> So what do you think, darling? How about we make it in four weeks' time? OK. Why yeah. not? Thank you, <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> Wonderful. So I booked the tickets right away. Okay. Yep. So it looked like Lily and Tina were all set. Then, just a couple of days before the big trip... Oh, no. This can't be right. What can't be? The summer solstice is next weekend. So? It's the summer ball. I forgot I'm supposed to be in Berlin with Mummy. Summer ball is... Is this a big deal? It's huge. All the old families in Germany will be there. Including Karl Christoph? <laughs> Especially Karl Christoph. But it's not just that. If I don't go, people will think the von Hasenbuchs are either too poor or too arrogant. Not a good look, huh? We'll be social outcasts for the rest of the century. That's a long time. <laughs> As Lily and Tina are going on a girls' weekend away, I thought, why can't we do the same? Um, because we're not girls? No, I mean, why don't we have a camping weekend away? It'll be a great chance for you to see the German countryside and with an experienced outdoors man to guide you. <laughs> Who's that? Me, of course. All my old camping gear. <laughs> this brings back memories. Huh? Hiking through the wilderness. <laughs> Living off the land. I never picked you as the outdoor type, Barrett. Oh, yes. You haven't seen the real Germany until you've been roughing it in the woods. The weekend forecast is excellent, so what do you say? Uh, actually, I hadn't thought that I would... That's the spirit. I knew an Australian wouldn't pass up an opportunity like this. It'll be fun! <laughs> Sounds great. OK, let's make a list of what we need. The first law of camping, Ben. Always make a list. Just tell your mother the truth. She'll understand. She won't. She thinks the summer ball is just a display of social snobbery. And is it? Well, yes, but that's not the point. We should still be represented, and it's still fun. Then tell her how much it means to you. How can I? She'll think I'm rejecting her. You know what mothers are like. Look, just say you mixed up the dates and ask to do the Berlin trip another time. I bet she'll agree. Well, I suppose it's worth a try. Come on. 
come in with me, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Your mum might think we're ganging up on her. We are ganging up on her. It's the only way I'll get her to agree. Good luck. Hey, what a nice surprise. To what do I owe this honor? Uh, well, we were just passing and, you know, Actually, Mummy, I wanted to ask you about our trip to Berlin. It's all booked and paid for. We leave Saturday morning at 9. It's all paid for? Yes. Why? Nothing is wrong, is it? No. No. Not at all. It's... It's just that I remembered something. Yes? I've discovered that this weekend has a rather special event on. You know. Uh, you do? And you're going to it. Tada! Front row seats at the Berlin Fashion Show. Front row? But they're like gold! <laughs> How did you get them? It wasn't easy, but this is such a special weekend. I had to do it. This is the event you're talking about, right? Yes. Yes, that's that's it all right. It's like you read my mind. Well, I am your mother, aren't I? How did it go? It could have been worse. And it could have been better. So I guess that means that you didn't tell her then? How could I? She was so excited, I couldn't bear to let her down. So what happens now? I just have to miss the ball, don't I? There'll be other times to see the prince. It's not just that. I feel terrible that there won't be a von Hasenburg attending. It'll start all kinds of poisonous gossip. Ah. Pity it's not a hundred years ago. You could have deputized a family member to represent you. If only. Marcus, you really amaze me sometimes. That's it. It is? Don't you see? Sam's a von Hasenburg, too. Uh, hey, let's get a grip. I'm only distantly related, right? Very distantly. Related is related. It's not like you have to do a blood test before they let you through the ballroom door. Well, he's right. It's the perfect solution. <laughs> uh, excuse me, bros, but no one's asked me how I feel about this. All right. Sam, how do you feel about this? Sorry, but I have a very strong aversion to formal dances. An aversion? You're kidding. I'm deadly serious. It's like a, a phobia. How can anyone have a phobia about going to a ball? <laughs> it's absurd, I know, but it's true. The closest thing to a ball I've ever been to was my school formal, and that's not an experience I want to repeat. Ever. <laughs> It all started out fine. When I arrived, I felt like a princess. I was so excited. Unfortunately, the wheels started falling off before I'd even made it to the door. This was bad, right? But it was nothing compared to the chamber of horrors that was waiting inside. sort of charm. We see. You're only saying that to make me feel better. I'm not. I promise. Hey, Sam looks great. Yeah, it does. It's got like a, a cute kind of ethnic sort of charm. Jack? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the waiter from hell decided to shower me with personal attention. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Poor David Grantham did his heroic best trying to pretend that everything was normal. But after that night, he never spoke to me again. The whole thing was total humiliation from go to woe. But Sam, I really need you to do this. Lily, even if I could face going, I'd be hopeless. I'm a terrible dancer, I won't know anyone, and I'd make a total fool of myself. No, you won't. Trust me, the von Hassenberg name might be mud if I don't go, but that's nothing compared to the trashing it'll get if I do. Okay. Are you sure this old stuff still works? These are high quality German steel. As good as the day they were made. Well, obviously this one was East German. What about these old tins of food? Canned foods last years. How about centuries? Ah, uh, just pack them as backup. We'll be catching so many fish, we won't eat them anyway. 
here. That one must be cold by now. You're too nice for your own good, Sophie. Marcus told me about Lily's dilemma and your fear of dancing. Formal dancing. Hip-hop, disco, jazz. I can do all of that, no problems. He said there's only one formal dance, a waltz to start the evening. One waltz is all it takes. My own body rejects me. What if it has its own personal dance instructor? Who? You. I've been doing ballroom dancing for years, and a waltz is quite easy. I could teach you in a couple of hours. You do ballroom dancing. It's quite popular here, especially in the winter when it's so cold outside. And it's much more fun than the gym. A waltz truly isn't that hard. At least think about it. Sam! You really are a true von Hasmog. How can I ever thank you? Here we are. We? Hi. Marcus. Well, if you're going to learn to waltz, you'll need a partner, right? You can waltz? Well... A little. What do you say, Sam? Are you happy to let Marcus be your partner? Are you game? I insist. This will make it easier, because Marcus will lead, and all you have to do is follow. Whatever you say, Captain, you might regret this. My feet are lethal weapons. I'll take the chance. Don't think about the steps, Sam. Just listen to the music and let Marcus lead you. Ready with the music, Lily? One, two, three. We should just stop now before I mangle your feet entirely. No, 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 no. Uh, how can we give up now? We haven't even started. You weren't letting Marcus lead, Sam, and you weren't listening to the music. Let's try again. You really sure you want to do this? I'm sure, OK? Stop worrying. Lily. you left this out? I wasn't sure what it was. Whatever it is, we might need it. Jump in. We should have been on the road hours ago. Christoph. Who else? Which means I get to sit with him at the head table. It's a huge honor for the family. But why did he leave asking you till today? His mother organized someone else to go, but now she's ill. And he said he always wanted to go with me anyway. But you can't. You're going to Berlin, aren't you? Sam, this is the prince we're talking about. I can't possibly reject him. And besides, I, I really like him. So what about your mother? I know. I hate letting her down. What am I going to do? There has to be some way out of this. Any suggestions? Well, look at the bright side. At least you have a choice. True. A choice? You mean choice one? OK, this is where we came in. Now you see why Lily's dilemma is such a killer. And like all dilemmas, there's no easy answer. Although it's in situations like this that Lily's at her best. I wouldn't put it past her to come up with something completely out of left field. I've got an idea. It's completely out of left field, but I think it'll work. See? I think I can go to the ball and not upset my mother's feelings. How? <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, Mummy, but I woke up with this... <coughs> and it's only getting worse. <coughs> no, I insist you go to Berlin. I know how much you want to see that fashion show. <coughs> <coughs> Sam and Marcus will look after me. <coughs> <coughs> The 
real Germany. What do you think, Ben? I'm sure it would be beautiful on a warm, sunny day. Ah, rain, hail or shine, this place never fails to lift the spirits. I don't believe it. My friend's boat's still here. <laughs> ah, the fish I've caught in there. I think we can use it. He won't mind. Uh, just how long ago was this, Baron? Only 10, maybe 12 years ago. Let's get our gear. Isn't this perfect? Who needs our boat motors? No noise and pollution with this. Now, Ben? Is that far enough, Baron? Yeah, oh, yeah, it'll do. Let's drop in the lines. Where did you put the bait? I thought you put it in. No, I told you to get it out of the car, remember? So where is it? Oh, I think it's still in the car. Oh, well, we, we just have to row back and get it. Yes, we will. Oh, Baron, slight problem with the oars. What's that? They're floating away. <laughs> what? I think we may have another problem. One problem at a time, please, Ben. You might want to take a look at the bottom of the boat first. What? We seem to have a leak. That's all we need. Well, what do we do? But first of all, don't panic. We just have to paddle back to shore. With what? With the only thing available, our hands. Any sign of a prince on a white charger? Not yet. How's Lily going? She's ready. How do I look? Like a princess. You both think I shouldn't be doing this, don't you? It's your choice, Lily. Whatever you decide, we go with. Absolutely. Thanks. I appreciate that. Lily? Mummy? Ah! Ah! Darling, Lily, are you okay? My ankle. I'll, I'll call the doctor and get Sophie to bring some ice. Uh, Try not to move her. I think it's twisted. Why aren't you and Bill in? I cancelled the trip to look after my sick daughter, but she seems to have made a miraculous recovery. At least until this happened. I'm so sorry, Mummy. I can explain. And I can't wait to hear it, but not now. Let's fix this ankle first. I'm afraid that's the end of the boat. That's nearly the end of us. Well, we wanted some adventure in our lives, didn't we? Uh, not that much. It's always the disasters that teach us most, Ben. The lessons you've learned today will stay with you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Even longer, I reckon. <laughs> oh. Anyway, no time to waste. Let's get that tent up before nightfall. I'm sorry I lied. But I only did it because I didn't want to upset you. Lily. I'd much rather you were honest with me. If you had been, we could have sorted this out easily. How? Well, if you told me the situation a week ago, we could have postponed the trip. And you'd be on the way to your ball right now. As it is... As it is, I now have neither. You must admit, Mummy, at least when your daughter messes up, she messes up big time. Who needs a castle when you've got a tent, huh? <laughs> it's, uh, very cozy. Anyway, time for supper. We might have caught any fish, but at least we have that camp food. You didn't bring it, did you? Uh, yeah. Here it is. I'm so hungry I'm even prepared to eat it. Ah, ravioli. Delicious. <laughs> Pass me the can opener. Yeah. Sure. Uh, where did you pack it? I told you to pack it, didn't I? No. I could have sworn I did. Not to worry. There's always nature's tin opener. What's that? Allow me to demonstrate. Carl Christoph. Hi. Hi, Sam. Sorry I'm late. Is Lily ready? Uh, not exactly. There's been a bit of an accident, I'm afraid. Is she okay? It's nothing serious. Look. Why don't you just come up? Sure. It's funny how disasters can sometimes bring out unexpected qualities in people. As it turned out, Karl Kristoff showed that he wasn't just a prince in name only. 
After listening to Lily's blow-by-blow -blow account of the day's catastrophes, he reacted in a way that none of us anticipated. <laughs> Least of all, Lily. I'm sorry you think it's all so funny. <laughs> and I'm sorry for laughing, but you must admit that you did dig a pretty deep hole for yourself. Yes. Anyway, I hope you still have an enjoyable night. That's up to you. I'm sorry? If you're not going to the ball, I'm not going either. But it's the biggest event of the year. <sighs> it's just a display of social snobbery. What an interesting point of view, don't you think so, honey? Yes, I suppose it is, in a way. Why don't we order a pizza and watch a movie? What do you think? <gasps> I'd love to. Well, um, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh, me too. Sam, before you leave, there's just one more thing. I know that look in Lily's eye. It means she's up to something. And it obviously concerns me. Here we go. Do you like the first mouthful, Ben? Thanks, Baron. But as the senior member amongst us, I'm going to defer to you on this. Huh. Tina? What? Lily's hurt her ankle? Lily's hurt her ankle. In that case, I'd better come home right away. No, no, I insist. Bye. Is Lily all right? She sounds fine, but in cases like this, a father's duty is beside his daughter. I hope you don't mind. You mean we're going home? I know how disappointed you must be, as I am, of course. I don't mind. Really, I don't. Do you want to leave now or after dinner? What would you say to leaving immediately, if not sooner? I'd say that feels pretty good. My fault, exactly. <laughs> It didn't take long to discover what Lily's scheming was all about. And I have to say, it was one of the best presents I could ever imagine. After you, my lady. Thank you, kind sir. How cool is this? The limo, the tickets, the knight in shining armor? Well, dinner suit anyway. Seriously, it just doesn't get any better. I don't think the night turned out that badly for Lily either. <laughs> After all, she got to spend serious one-on-one -on -one time with her very own prince. Even Ben and the Baron's night ended up a lot better than it started. And as for the ball, once I got there, I couldn't believe why I'd been so worried about it. I hope I didn't disgrace the von Hassenberg name, but to be honest, I hardly gave it a second thought. I was having way too much fun with my own Prince Charming. <laughs>